involved again. There's a suggestion there might have been a foul there as, they, uh, as the ball came in. Well, you can see that uh, Jones tries to spin round the back initially, but then comes back to meet the header. This is Deli Alley who's on the bench tonight. The uh, big media get together on Tuesday, came up with the line. Nothing to hide, nothing to fear. And I thought that's a, that's a good emblem for the, for the trip, really, because they've been very open in their dealings with the media and with the supporters. And I think that was really evident and came through in there. This is Rashford! Who explodes one past Keylor Navas. His short career has been littered with spectacular moments. And you've just seen the latest one. A couple of wows there on the bench from Steve Holland, the assistant to Gareth Southgate. What a goal! Well, he started positively, hasn't he, Marcus Rashford? And what he's done, he's exploded that shot. He takes possession of the ball with a short pass from Loftus Cheek. And then immediately, he absolutely fires. It's almost underneath him, but he strikes it up with that wicked dip to take it over Navas, giving him absolutely no chance. Really superb hit from Marcus Rashford to give England a great start to this game. And then it comes short for the corner. Marcus Rashford's at it again. Back for Delft. Going up at the far post. And it comes to Vardy. Was just too close to the goalkeeper, or the goalkeeper got himself too close to Vardy for the Leicester City striker to score. I think Neves does well, but I think it's just unfortunate for Jamie Vardy that he, he can't get the ball down, it doesn't drop quick enough for him just to tow that ball under Neves. Now, Campbell. And just caught a little bit napping from the throw by Gamboa. Did well, and the first. Real action from Venegas is shot for Jack Butler. Well, that was purely just a lack of concentration. The, the two centre halves are left because Stones is out of place and they don't fill that area quickly enough. Jordan Henderson will have been inwardly disappointed that Harry Kane got the, the vote as captain for the tournament itself, but he's a, he's a good, unselfish team man, Henderson. A decent player as well, it's a probing pass. Alexander Arnold might have tossed that in, but there was no one actually there to attack it in the middle, so he uses uh, his Liverpool colleague Henderson. And that was an awkward one. So comes out to Henderson! Well, he's made two superb forward passes for Jordan Henderson, and then his third touch is at the edge of the box. He has to drive forward, strikes it beautifully on the half volley, and it's the pace that causes Navas all sorts of problems. It comes straight at the Real Madrid goalkeeper, through legs on its way. He had to make sure he has strong wrists to push that away. It's another Alexander-Arnold set-piece, a corner this time. Oh, off the line, it was Maguire. And England close to going 2-0 up. Alexander-Arnold would have had the assist. It's Oviedo back on the line who makes the block from the Maguire header. Close to his first England goal. It's a very good stop on the line, isn't it, by Brian Oviedo? Unfortunately for him, it went where a teammate could pick it further away. by Trippier, gets it out of his feet to get the cross in, and, uh, hit into the ground by Danny Rose with his weaker foot, sometimes they can bounce in, but that one didn't. And sometimes they can fly in, as Danny Rose on his debut scored the most spectacular right-footed volley that he'll ever score in his career against Arsenal in a North London derby, unfortunately on this occasion for England he gets it horribly wrong. That is a famous goal. He'll never score a more famous goal in his career. Well, he, he's got a chance maybe to in the next four or five weeks, but his debut, everyone said he would never play for Tottenham's first team. He did, he scored in the 
Yes, the people around his Arsenal. It was a wonderful goal, too. Martin, I have to tell you that. It's uh, Deli Alley. And is it 2-0? Uh, it is given for Danny Welbeck. He had a look across to see whether the flag went up. But Welbeck continues this knack of finding the opposition's net when he plays for his country. It's far better his international ratio than in club football. And Deli Alley played his part in Welbeck's 16th England goal. Well, it's a substitutes combining when Deli Alley in this position. I think he's trying to shoot. He's not trying to pick out Welbeck, but Welbeck knows he has to get a touch. The Deli Alley effort is not going in the back of the net, and Welbeck throwing himself in gets the all important touch. A tickle really into the ground and into the back of the net to wrap this game up for England. So could we be the surprise team of 2018 World Cup? Well, he hopes so. Absolutely. He's done, done his best to get England into uh, contention. Steve Holland alongside him. Pretty straightforward here against Costa Rica. Of course, they've got their own World Cup campaign to mount. Marcus Rashford scored a beautiful goal early and really dominated the first half. Not quite so involved in the second, but he did the full 90 minutes. Danny Welbeck, who hasn't started either game, came on just to tickle the manager's memory a little bit, knowing that he has a very good goal-scoring record when he does play for England, and he knocked in across from the, another substitute, Deli Alley. The crowd here at Ellen Road ready to give uh, England uh, a big send-off. Most of them have stayed for the, uh, the final rights. It's a bon voyage to Gareth Southgate and his tightly knit squad. It's finished here at Leeds, England 2, Costa Rica 0.